Welcome back to Flat Tire Farm. It's April 30th and starting to be spring out. It's 55 degrees today. Now there's still two and a half feet of snow out there, but it's starting to melt, which means I need to get all of my bulk food processing done before the busy garden season starts. Now this video is the first in a series of zero waste processing for lemons. And zero waste processing means we're gonna find a way to use every bit of the lemon without throwing any of it away. I figure we ought to just start on the outside of the lemon and work our way in. So today, the video is going to be all about the lemon zest, the very outside of the peel. We're going to make four quick and easy things with our lemon zest today. We're going to make a lemon salt, a lemon pepper, a lemon sugar, and some lemon extract. Now I got all my lemons washed and the stickers taken off. They're organic, so I don't have to worry about scrubbing too much. Just get the big hunks off. And to my surprise, because I live in Alaska and citrus doesn't grow here, my fingers found this thorn. One of the lemons didn't have the stem off it all the way. And I had no idea that lemons had thorns. So for those of you in Florida and California and all the warm places, you're probably laughing at me right now. But for all of you that live in cold places, just so you know, there's thorns on these guys, so be careful. <laughs> We're going to start by zesting a bunch of these lemons. Um, surely not all of them because I want to use um, some of the whole peels for some other projects and other videos that I have coming up. You're going to need a tool to zest the lemons, either a zester or a microplaner. And I'll leave a link in the description below for this one for anybody that's interested. So I guess we better get zesting away. Do your best to keep all the skin on your fingers. That's an important part. When you're zesting, you want to get just the outside of the lemon, just the shiny coating on the outside. That's what contains all the oils. And this white part is called the pith, and we're going to save that for another project in another video. I'm going to zest away, and then I'll get back with you in a moment to do our projects. Well, took about 30 seconds for me to get my finger, so I have a Band-Aid on. So plan B is I'm going to wear my rubber gloves that I use um, for pulling jars out of the canner, and now it will not eat my fingers. And I'm real happy about that plan. <laughs> okay, we zested our seven lemons. We got maybe about a cup and a half of zest. Put some parchment paper on an old cookie sheet. And start in my reach. I'm just going to put this lemon zest on here. Spread it out so that it can dry pretty good. We're gonna put it in the oven on our lowest temperature setting. Um, some people's oven goes to 200, some 170. Um, but you're gonna wanna let it cook in there or dry out in there for about an hour. If the lowest that your oven goes is 200, you might wanna crack the door a little bit, like stick a metal spatula in there or something, just so that um, it doesn't get too hot in there. You want the moisture to be able to evaporate. Now, we live off grid, and so if the sun was out, I would put this in the food dehydrator, but the sun is not out, and so the best use of my resources and my energy is to put it in the oven because then it's only an hour, and mostly it's using um, just a tiny bit of propane, so, so that works best for me. So I'll put this in the oven for an hour, and I'll meet you back in a minute. Okay, our next two projects are done exactly the same way, so I'm gonna do them together. We're gonna make lemon salt and lemon sugar, we need a cup of each of sugar and salt. Now this is Redmond Livestock salt that I have sifted um, so that I can use it just like Redmond Real Salt. Now, if you're curious about that, I will link the video at the end that shows you how I did the comparison between Redmond Real Salt and Livestock Salt. Um, and the price is a huge difference between the two. So it's one of the ways I save money in my kitchen. That aside, for every cup of sugar or salt, you will need two tablespoons of lemon zest or two large lemons worth of zest. So each large lemon produces a tablespoon of zest. So for each cup, you need two lemons worth or two tablespoons. So we'll start with the lemon salt. Just gonna put it in a bowl I can mix it in. We'll take two tablespoons of our zest. Okay, mix it up. Now this zest, we just zested, right? So it's still pretty wet. So I'm going to um, let it dry before I put it in the jar. Now I don't need to put it in the oven or put it in the food dehydrator. I'm just gonna put it on these little plates um, and let it air dry. Now the moisture in the lemon zest is gonna mix with the salt and it's gonna make some chunks after it dries. So you just squish it back up, it'll all turn back into regular salt, no problem. 
There we go. We're just going to put it on the plate. Spread it out. You could put it on anything. It doesn't have to be a plate. These are actually our super fancy plates. This is Benito the super chicken, just in case you wondered. He is a mascot around here. <laughs> okay, now the sugar. Cup of sugar. Two tablespoons of zest. One. Two. Mix it up just like we did the salt. Okay, we got our lemon sugar on the plate. Um, and what am I gonna use these things for? I'm gonna use the lemon sugar for baking cookies, like maybe sugar cookies or shortbread cookies. I might put it in biscotti. Also, I could use it if I wanted to sweeten my tea with it. That would be really delicious. Um, the lemon sugar or the lemon salt I'm gonna use for things like seasoning chicken or seasoning fish, whatever I'm gonna use lemon and salt in together. I now have a lemon salt that I can use. I'm gonna let these dry they're pretty moist right now so i'm just gonna let them sit out for the day and um, at the end of the day i will smush them all up and make sure that they're all dry and that there's no clumps and then i'll put them in half pint jars and stick them on the shelf and use them as i need to okay we got one more project before we go back to tackle the lemon pepper we're gonna make lemon extract it's very easy it's very expensive in the store but very easy to make you just have to plan ahead a little bit so i have a cup of just some junky old cheap vodka, okay? So whatever kind you can get cheap, that's the one you need, okay? For every cup of vodka, I'm gonna put ooh, three to four tablespoons of lemon zest in a jar. And the good news is, I think we're gonna use the rest of this bowl, and that'll be perfect. We didn't have anything left over. Okay, so that's about four um, tablespoons. We're gonna pour in the vodka, do, do, do. There you go. We're gonna put a lid on it. I don't like to put the metal canning lids on here um, because I don't want the vodka to corrode my lids and it gets all rusty and nasty. So I just use these little um, reusable plastic lids. Um, I buy them like 24 at a time on Amazon. Um, I'll put that and all the other stuff that we use today in the, in the link in the description below. But we put it on there. We're going to put a label on there. Okay, you can use, I sometimes use a dry erase marker because I can wipe it off real quick or a piece of tape. Um, and it's going to be good in about a month. And it'll be good for six months to a year. Now, um, some extracts I've had, they're, I just keep using them. So as long as you're rotating a little bit. So you take a little bit out, you add a little more vodka. You take a little out, you add a little more vodka. This lemon's going to be good in here for a long time. Like I have vanilla beans that I use this same process and I couldn't even tell you how many years old they are. Probably five or six and I've never changed them out and still keeps making vanilla. You just use it, pour more, pour more vodka. Use it, pour more vodka. So anyways, that's the easy extract. Our lemon zest is all nice and dried. I pulled it out of the oven after about an hour and 20 minutes, I stuck my hands in there every once in a while and kind of sifted it around. And then I just let it sit on the stove top um, and the warmth of the pan finished drying it. Now to finish off our lemon pepper recipe, we're gonna add a quarter cup of peppercorns to our little uh, spice grinder, which is really just an old coffee grinder. Grind that up. And we're gonna add our lemon zest. It's nice and dry. Don't look at my ugly pan. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of salt to this. Usually when people make lemon pepper, they put three or four times that amount of salt in this size of a recipe, but I don't like to do that. I like to add the salt when I'm cooking if it needs it, um, because we don't use a lot of salt and I don't like to use a lot of salt. So we're just gonna put it all in the grinder, grind it up a little bit. That's gonna break down that lemon zest and then we're gonna have our lemon pepper. And there we go. Okay, I put what I could in this little seasoning jar that I have saved. It's just an old spice jar, it has the little holes on the top. And what's left in here, I'll put in a mason jar, um, just with a, an airtight lid, put it on there, and put it on the pantry shelf. I wanted to show you, here's our lemon sugar we made. And if you can hear it, it's a little crunchy. So I'm just gonna break it up. It's still a little moist under there. Once it's all dry and you can't feel any more moisture in it, 
then it's ready to go on the jar. If you put it in the jar like this, you either have to keep it airtight and then it'll stay soft all the time like this, or if you put it in the jar wet and then it dries out in the jar, it's gonna be like a brick of sugar and you don't want that. Same for the salt. Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, the salt dried much quicker than does the sugar. Now today we used all of our lemon zest in other things like lemon salt, lemon pepper, but you could easily just preserve the lemon zest for recipes that call for lemon zest for future cooking. You would just do the same process that you did for dehydrating the lemon zest in the oven, 170 degrees for an hour plus or minus, or 200 degrees and stick a metal spatula in your door so it props open a little bit for the same time. And then you let it air dry until it's not moist anymore. I'll leave links in the description below for the items that we use today. And also I'll do my best to link the playlist for the zero waste lemon processing at the end of this video. I'm hoping to get all the videos up at the same time. We'll see how much magic I have in me. <laughs> Anyways, as always, thanks for joining us on Flat Tire Farm. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Stay tuned for lots more videos and you guys stay warm out there.